Okay. Today we're gonna learn how to draw a pumpkin. Or a pumpkin patch. You can draw more than one pumpkin if you want to. You can practice on a sheet of paper first. When you're ready, we're gonna get our watercolor paper. Uh, I'm just, you can go first with a pencil. And we're gonna start with an oval in the center of the paper. An oval is that long circle, right? Like that. Then we're gonna take, and we're gonna make a C on the one side and the belly of a D on the other side. So I'm gonna start my C in the belly of a D. Then I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna do another C, but it's starting a little further up. And a skinnier C. And then I'm gonna do a skinnier belly of a D on the other side. Then I'll do two little bumps and a swirly stem. Your stem can look any way you want. And then we need two more little bumps to show the other side of our pumpkin. A little bump there and a little bump there. And actually, I don't love that second one. I'm gonna erase it. And I'm gonna bump it. And I don't love my stem. And there, we got my pumpkin. Pretty cool. So we're gonna make some leaves. You could do like a, a drop shape like a teardrop, a big teardrop. You can do a bunch of random ones all over the page. You could even do them more heart-shaped, the leaves, if you want some heart-shaped leaves. I'll do both, teardrops and heart shape. And then pumpkins have vines. Pumpkins, I'm gonna connect them all with swirly, Connect. I'm not going to go over my heart. I'm going to go under and under. And then my vine probably makes a swirl here. Pumpkin vines are swirly. And I need another swirly vine that connects these leaves. Remember, we're not going to go through the leaf. We're going to go to the end. And some more swirlies. All right. So now we got some swirly vines. You can leave your pumpkin like this. You can also make some big leaves at the bottom if you want your pumpkin sitting on some leaves. We are gonna use watercolor to fill this in. So we're gonna need to trace our pencil with some black crayon, that way it, the watercolor will just go right over the black crayon and we'll see it. So after I get my scene the way I like it, I'm going to trace over all my lines with nice dark black crayon. I'm going to put some lines in here for my leaves. Hmm. Leaves have a little bit of that. I'll start up with my stem and trace over my oval. Trace over belly of the D and the C that we did earlier, right? And and now this takes time. So take your time tracing all your nice leaves. I'm trying to do this fast so I can show you guys, but normally I would take a lot more time tracing everything nice and neat. 
Now I'm gonna go over my little black vines. It's okay if you don't, they don't match up exactly. We can always erase pencil marks if we have to. My crayon's getting dull. <laughs> And make sure I get my connecting lines and my swirlies. Whoops, broke the crayon on the last little bit. <sighs> Yay, look at that, it looks so good. Now if I see any lots of pencil lines, I'm gonna go in and erase some of them gently because the, the watercolor will not um, cover them up, okay? So, the big ones I'm gonna erase. Need the little ones will be fine. Beautiful. All right, so that's what we're doing in today's class. Next class, we get to break out the watercolor and fill it all in with beautiful colors. Voila.